G'day there everyone, Daniel Anderson here. Now document sets or folders on steroids in SharePoint are often overlooked or not even known about as a way of managing your sets of documents or related documents. Um, now they have been lagging a little bit behind in the new modern SharePoint experience in the, in the way of actually creating a document set. We're still stuck in the classic experience when we're creating a document set, we're presented with a classic uh, form for us to input all of our data. Uh, that is up until now. Now, I recently just came across a solution from Dan Toft um, in the community, in the PMP community, uh, and it's a PowerShell script that allows you to enable a modern forms experience when you're creating your document sets. A really great solution, and that is what we're going to focus on in this video, how we go about grabbing that script and implementing it and using it in your situation. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is head over to the PNP script samples website where you can see on the screen here, there's the URL. And you can see right now that this uh, particular script we're going to have a look at is the second tile or in the middle right here. So enable modern creation forms for, share, for document sets. So when we click on this, we're going to be taken to the actual script itself. We've got a readme file and we've got the script here. Now, what's amazing about the PMP uh, community is that there are tons of these samples on this site that you can take and use in your own uh, environments and just um, change to suit the requirements that you're looking for. So what we're gonna do is we are going to take this entire script and we're gonna copy that and we're going to open up Visual Studio Code and we're, all we're going to do is we're going to paste the script in there and we are then going to just adjust it to our scenario. So we can see in our particular script here that we are, um, all we're doing is we're entering the URL of our site, we're then authenticating to that site, and then we follow the prompts and we select the document library to, um, to run this on, and then it's gonna enable the modern forms experience. So let's go ahead and do that right now. So the first thing we're gonna do is, I'm just gonna drag Visual Studio Code across to here and we're going to grab the URL of our site. So we can see here that I'm on just a SharePoint team site. I've got a couple of different document libraries that I've got in play uh, on this document uh, on this site here. One that is uh, for the old school forms experience and another one that we're going to use for our modern document set experience. Now the first thing we need to do obviously is enable document sets in the library. So I'm going to jump up to the cog menu and I'm going to go to library settings. Now this is a, a site collection feature also that needs to be enabled at the site collection level for document sets to be made available. So this is a uh, document um, library here. Actually what we might do is jump over to the modern sets document library here. We'll enable document sets on this particular library. We'll leave the old school library just to give us um, a look at the older style. So if we go to library settings, we'll go to more library settings and we need to enable content types, all right? So we'll jump into advanced settings in the library and then we'll uh, toggle and we'll turn allow management of content types across to yes. And then we'll scroll down the bottom, we'll click okay. So what that does is allow us to use different content types now on this library. Now we're going to add from an existing content type. All right, so document sets are an out of the box content type that, that are already pre-existing. So we're going to select from the document set content types category, and we've got a single document set here. We're going to add that to the library. All right, so now that that's been added, we can now make use of, um, of document sets. Now I mentioned before that document sets are a site collection feature. So when I say site collection feature, that needs to be enabled at the site collection level. This is a SharePoint site collection. Under site collection administration, we've got this link here that says site collection features. Now document sets are disabled by default, so we actually need to activate that feature here. Document sets, and we need to just click the activate button and that will make it available to add to our libraries. So we'll jump over to modern uh, sets here that we've enabled 
enabled this on. And if we go to the new button, you'll see that we've now got new document and new document set. Now we're gonna do the same thing to the old school document library here too, because we're gonna keep this as is. All right, so we'll go to library settings, we'll go to more library settings, and then what we'll do is again, we'll go to advanced settings, we'll allow the management of content types, and then we'll add the document set content type to this library. So that has now been enabled. We'll then add from existing content types here, and we'll choose the document set content types category and we'll jump that across and we are now all good to go. So if you've used document sets before, you'll understand that when we now have that got, we've now got that enabled, when we click new document set, what's going to happen is we're going to be presented with our old school type of form. So not in this new modern experience. So we can see there, this is what I'm talking about when I'm talking about a classic uh, old school type of, of SharePoint form. We want it to be more modernized. We want our panel from our right sliding out and we want that new modern experience. So that's where this script comes into play from Dan. So I'll drag Visual Studio Code back across here. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm basically just going to run run uh, this script as is, all right? But I'm just gonna change something just for the purposes of this video. I'm just going to hard code in the site URL. So I'm just gonna copy the site URL here. So instead of uh, prompting me for the URL of the site, what I'm going to do is I am just going to change this a little and I'm just going to hard code that uh, URL into this script. So we're now good to go, all right? So what we're gonna do now is we're actually going to run this script. So let's hit the run button, and what we're going to be asked for is to authenticate to this particular site. So let's authenticate. We'll pop in our uh, username, and I'll just grab the password and then this script will authenticate to this particular site. So we can see here, enter the password, hit sign in, and with this script will continue on. So let's wait for that to authenticate, we're done. Now I'll just drag this up a little bit higher, we're running. And you can see here that the first thing that happens is that we're reading the document libraries in this particular site. Now, which one do we want to modernize uh, our forms? We want to modernize the modern sets. So that is number one. So all we do, hit number one, hit enter, and then we're on to our next step. The which content type do we want to modernize? We want to modernize the document set. So we'll hit number two. Okay, and then it is all done. As simple as that. We've now got um, the modern forms experience for our document set on that particular library. So let's jump back into the site. We'll hit the refresh button and let's see what happens. All right, so remembering that uh, the old school is the classic uh, experience. Now, when I move over to modern sets, this document library here, and I go to new and I go to document set, what's gonna happen is that the right-hand side panel is now gonna fly out and we no longer have that classic form experience, okay? So let's hit, let's hit cancel here. Now, let's see what happens when we add some metadata to our document set as well. So I'm gonna go to more library settings and what we're going to do is just add a choice column to our document set. So the first thing we're going to do is is we're gonna create a column and let's just create a simple status column for uh, addition here. So let's go status. We'll just choose a choice column here uh, and then we'll add a few values and we'll add it to our document set content type. So let's go um, new in progress completed. That'll do for us. And we will add to all, actually let's turn this off and we'll click okay. So now that we've created our, um, our column, let's go into document set and we will now add that status column to the document set. So we'll add from an existing site or list column and we'll go status, we'll click that across there and we'll click okay. So now we've added that. Now let's see what the experience is like now in our modern document set. Does that um, come across into the new forms experience? So we'll click new and then we'll click document set and our panel will fly out from the right hand side. 
uh, we've got our new modern uh, forms experience and you can see that we've got our, um, our status column there as well. So we really do now have the ability to modernize all of our document sets. Now this script uh, is part of the PMP community uh, created by Dan Toff, so a big shout out to Dan here, um, allows us to now um, have our new modern uh, document set experience. So once again, thanks for watching. Hope this brings you some value. If you are using modern, if you are using document sets, this is a great resource for you to go and take a look at. Thanks again. See you next time.